It's nice that, oh, I feel so nice to have suspension though, man. Hey, what's up, Duff here. I am in the super target parking lot. You have not seen me here for a little while. And I'm in front of the new supercharger that was installed here in the last several months. Second supercharger in the Naples area. I have not used this one yet, but it's uh, it's an eight unit supercharger. Seems to uh, see some decent use. So I was excited to see it firsthand myself because I do still have something like 30,000 free supercharger miles <laughs> on my account that if I don't use eventually, I'm gonna lose. So I, I should do that, right? So what the plan is here is um, I, I finished watching the Eagles game and we can talk about that in a bit. I'm gonna ride the, uh, the Oaks path over to the North Collier Regional Park and reverse. And I don't have the Z10, I don't have the V12. I have the S18, or the S18, the V11. The path on Oaks is uh, rather bumpy, so I figured that uh, suspension would make sense. We are rocking my afternoon Dunkin' Donuts as well, as you can see. And I've just spilled a little bit. Uh, not too bad. Oh, watch out, buddy. So yeah, I can't, I can't remember the last time I did this loop. It's been quite a while. I, guess I seem to say that every ride that I take, right? It's been quite a while since I've done it. It's nice that, oh, it feels so nice to have suspension though, man. It's been a while since I've ridden this wheel as well. And, um, you know, as much as I like the V12, the Z10, the Sherman, it does not give me the riding comfort of a suspension wheel. Feels very nice to have suspension under my legs. Any of you remember this? Does this visual bring back memories for anybody? It does for me. So as you can see, I'm wearing my Eagles shirt. And no, I didn't put it on just after the Eagles actually won because um, it did not look like they were gonna win, that's for sure. That game against Carolina for 75% of it, the, the team looked pretty dreadful. But they managed to pull out a win. You know, Carolina was 3-1. The Eagles went into it 1-3. And the yeah, Eagles got their second win of the season. So that was exciting. It's, it's, it's so crazy the way that a, a team changes week to week. You know, you know, last week, the Eagles didn't punt. Their offense scored a ton of points. This week, the offense couldn't do shit for most of the game. And it was the defense that came up big with three um, three interceptions, uh, a blocked a blocked punt, you know, all of which was very instrumental in them uh, winning that game. So you, NFL, man, it's just you, you just never know week to week. It's crazy the swings uh, the teams have. There's just very little consistency. And I'm glad I have the the uh, V11 today. These bumps would be rocking me otherwise. And there's lots of little uh, like roots and stuff that are pushing up the path. Kind of sneak up on you because there's a lot of sun and shadow here. So suspension is a great thing on this path. Oh, watch out, bunny. And right there's a bunny. We do not want to have any incidents with animals. Wanted to thank everybody that stopped by for the live stream I had on Friday. That was my 50th live stream. So it was sort of sort of not important but but uh noteworthy i guess right 50 live streams it went on for just short of three hours it's crazy had a good time talked about all kinds of things definitely just not pevs talked about alcohol talked about the world talked about relationships um, and i drank one of my few remaining zimas to celebrate the event as well those of you that uh, are familiar with the channel probably have heard me talk about Zimas before. One of my favorite drinks uh, from the 90s. They re reintroduced them in like the 2017, 2018 time frame and then stopped selling them again. And I've been holding on to the few that I had remaining because I had bought several cases of it when it was available. 
Uh, so the one that I had on the stream was probably between two and three years old, I believe. And unfortunately, uh, being that old evidently affects the uh, chemical composition of the Zima, and it did not taste uh, very good. I think I described it on the, on the stream as medicine-y with a strange aftertaste. Definitely not the Zima that I came to uh, love over the years. So I did get it down. I also drank one of those uh, Corona lights that I was complaining about, the piss water Corona lights, got one of those down. Um, you know, the, after a, you know, probably three sips, it, it, was, it was more manageable. So yeah, it was a very exciting stream. Uh, a few of the channel members were there. Cynthia was there. E. Simon was there. I'm trying to think what other members, channel members I saw in there. They might've been the only two, but as always, channel membership is appreciated. Much appreciated. Gave away a few shirts as well during the live stream. Jeez. It's very hard to start and stop the camera with, uh, with coffee in your hand. I've, I've discovered that. Uh, Marty was uh, on the stream a little bit. He was just, he was in the chat room on Friday and he had mentioned how he is getting the E-Wheels uh, test commander. He's gonna have a commander to, to mess around with. I think he's supposed to get it today actually. And he did mention that he was given permission to uh, try to run that thing up over Heat Hill. Now typically he will do that test last just in case uh, bad things happen. So should be fun. You know, Marty does a good job of uh, going over a wheel. So of course I'd love to get a crack at it, but who knows? I haven't, I haven't heard anything from Jason about it. If I will be testing that wheel or not. If you'd like to see me test it, uh, send him an email. Damn guys, I forgot just how good the VLS or the, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember my wheel names anymore. I forgot how good the V11 feels, man, for me. It just, it eats up these tiny little bumps. You know, I'm on the sidewalk right now, if you haven't noticed. And uh, yeah, it just, it rounds out all those, those little uh, impacts you would be feeling. Instead of being sharp, angular impacts, they are nice little rounded ones that don't uh, make me go, ooch, ooh, ow, ooh, ow. <laughs> nearly as often as when I'm riding a non-suspension wheel. All right, just like that, we are at North Collier Regional Park. And, and okay, let's say it all together again. Uh, all together now, let's say it, let's, let's, let's practice. I, I, I haven't, haven't been, been here, here in, in a while. A while. <laughs> Seems like I haven't been a lot of places in a while, right? Coffee's kicked. Cruising by the soccer fields, cruising by the solar panel covered parking areas. I did something different last night. Something I've, I, I think I might've only done once, possibly twice other, uh, other times in my life. I'm only thinking of one time actually. I went to a comedy show. Yeah, crazy shit, huh? Uh, Cindy's um, younger brother actually has been trying to break into comedy for the last, uh, I don't know, a year and a half, two years. It's been, uh, he's been working hard at it and he had a show on the uh, West Coast. He lives in the East Coast of Florida, but he was on the West Coast. So yeah, I went to go see it. It's cool. It's a fun time. It's a total of five comics and um, it was a, a different way to spend a Saturday evening. A lot of fun. I'll put his... Um, his Instagram channel, or Instagram, yeah. Well, his Instagram, yeah, is, is it a channel on Instagram? I'm, I'm in a YouTube mindset, I don't know what it is. But anyways, I'll put his Instagram ID <laughs> uh, in the description below. Or maybe right below me here. She feels, oh, hi, Mr. Squirrel. Hi, oh, hi, baby. Oh, cute little squirrel. Um, hey, bunny. Wow, all kinds of guys out right now. I was gonna say that it actually feels like sort of like okay right now. Humidity doesn't feel quite as oppressive as normal. 
Yeah, maybe we're finally turning the corner. What do we got here? Snake? Okay, now we got a snake. Hi, buddy. Watch out. Someone's going to run you over. Watch out. And another bunny. Hi, bunny. My goodness. I've seen squirrels, bunnies, and a snake. A lot of them. Yeah, this this back part of the um, of the park, you know, kind of a preserve area. So you do normally see most of your wildlife back here, but not that much. Wow. But anyways, yeah, the weather right now feels um, nice. Really nice. Kind of nice. I've said many times that, you know, as far as suspension wheels go, the suspension on the S18 is clearly, you know, better than the V11. But for, for urban riding, for hard surface riding, just to, you know, absorb bumps and just to make the overall experience more enjoyable, V11 suspension gets the job done, guys, without a doubt. It's a joy to ride, it really is. I don't know if it's... If it's mating season, there's another little bunny. Hi, buddy. Hi. And I saw two more up here. Yeah, right here in the path. Throw out three. Look at this. It's okay. Hi, bunnies. It's all right. It's okay. And this is officially the most rabbits I've ever seen riding here. V11 suspension test. Ah, uh, not a big deal. All right, that was fun to that was fun to truck around in here for a little bit. I'm gonna reverse direction now. Get back. I you know don't have a lot of time to ride. I gotta do some stuff uh, this evening yet, but I did want to make sure that I at least forced myself to get out to do somewhat of a ride. You know, sometimes you have to just allocate that time, whether you have it or not. So time has been officially allocated. One of the things that um, has been a challenge for me, time-wise, is food preparation. You know, it seems like a lot of times I don't have a lot of time to dedicate to making food. And food is kind of important, right? So what I uh, did is I tried out a meal service uh, from a company called Fresh and Lean. There's a ton of them. That... Oops. There's a ton of them out there, but Fresh and Lean is nice because they send you vacuum pack meals. They're fresh. They're not frozen meals, they're fresh. And um, you literally just pop them in the microwave for three minutes and you're done. And they actually come out good. They actually taste quite good. Now, I was hoping to get something that like kind of fit my pescatarian, you know, uh, menu. You know, because I'm a pescatarian. But they didn't have pescatarian, so I opted for their vegan option, you know, the vegan only meal plan. And that's been pretty good. Uh, the only issue I've had is, you know, they, they, that plan has a lot of the, the vegan meat, you know, like beyond meat and, you know, fake chicken and all that kind of stuff, which generally speaking, I don't mind, it tastes okay. Um, it can cause some GI complications for me, so I don't like to exclusively do something like that, so. I got two weeks of it and I suspended it for now. I might try to see if I can sign back up uh, with a pescatarian option. And, and I got some, some uh, direction from their customer support and how I can do that. So, but yeah, that, that's been a great way for me to, to cut my meal prep down to like, you know, five minutes basically. Three minutes in the microwave, let it cool for a few minutes, cut it open and, uh, and you're good to go. So yeah, definitely better than frozen meals. Because I remember in the past, I used to rely heavily on like healthy choice and that kind of stuff. You know, uh, meals you would get in the, at the supermarket and, and you know, those things have so many uh, not great things in them. You know, a lot of them are high in sodium, uh, preservatives, all that kind of fun stuff. So this is definitely a better option. Now it's not cheap for five meals a week with fresh and lean. It's, uh, it was, I think it was like $64 or something like that. So it's not cheap. But you're paying for the convenience, I guess. So we'll see. Why am I telling you this? I don't know. Why not? The other nice thing about, you know, fresh and lean or, or healthy choice or whatever is you have built-in portion control. That's nice too, right? 
some people, uh, some people can use that help, including me at times. I'm on your left. Thank you. Fun little ride that was. Let's unlock the truck. Do this. We'll do this. And I can talk while I disrobe. So yeah, good little ride, guys. Um, felt great to get back out on the V11. Man, oh man, I, I didn't realize how much I missed suspension until I uh, am riding suspension again. That was very enjoyable. If I did that with any of my other non-suspension wheels, my uh, lower back would be really hurting right now. And it doesn't. So, yeah. That's why I can't wait, you know, to get my hands on an S20, a suspension wheel with, uh, you know, the power and range specs that, that really make it the only wheel I, I theoretically would need. Although, of course, I'll always have other wheels, but, you know, S20s could really do it all for me. Really could. All right, let's get this in here. Um, let's do it this way. There we go. Ugh. All right, I got weird Tesla people looking at me, so let's do the rest in, in the truck. Yeah, I mean, you know how those Tesla owners can be. They're, they're a bunch of weirdos, so, um, yeah. Let's uh, start the truck because I'm sweating now. Let's um, turn off the stereo. Is it off? Yeah, it is off. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Just a little just, just because ride. If you found this video interesting please give it a big thumbs up if this is your first time visiting the channel think about subscribing over there I mean, no think about subscribing and then if you subscribe you can hit the the notify button which is or bell which is over there hit the bell um, feel free to leave your comments suggestions ideas and thoughts below a big thanks to my members last time I checked I have eight members uh, here they are much appreciated you can be a member too it's very easy it's very inexpensive so uh, if you're interested in checking that out hit the join button and it'll give you details about that and uh, I think that's all I have for you for now I feel very fortunate to get an Eagles win you know I, I did not expect that the way that the, the day started but it finished okay so yeah that's awesome right I hope you guys have a great week upcoming and uh, until next time Duffman out Let's look at all the weird Tesla people. Oh wow, there's only one.